Okay, so welcome back to the best channel on YouTube. <laughs> uh, we're gonna pick up where we left off a couple days ago. We're working on this beautiful 1962 Corvair convertible. It is the Monza edition. It is a Spider, and it is supposedly turbo, or was turbo. Beautiful, beautiful slick pack, paint, black paint job. One of the nicest paint jobs I've ever seen. This car is new to my customer and I did a pre-purchase inspection on it and she wants to make it so she can drive it to the beach reliably. You can see the turbocharged badge there. Although the car does not have a turbo. And when it came in a couple days ago, it had a big old honking four barrel. You can see it no longer has the big four barrel. And there's nothing wrong with the big four barrel except it's 600 CFM on a 145 cubic inch engine. It's way, even as a two barrel, a 300 CFM is a little big. So we took off the V8 four barrel, which was over fueling and it's a nice carburetor, but it had issues. The secondaries were leaking. Um, so it was just running terrible, terrible. I don't see how anybody could drive it. And what we did is kind of ingenious is I kept the four barrel plenum, which is this bottom part here. I got an adapter to adapt it from a four barrel square flange to a Holley 5200 and then a little adapting on the adapter. I then adapted this Weber DGV, which is a progressive. In other words, it's primarily a one barrel and when you floor it, it goes to two barrel. And it's approximately 200 CFM, maybe 250, but these things just run great. And the whole reason we went to this was electric choke, single carburetor, so there's no synchronizing of the dual carburetors, and excellent fuel mileage. This particular carburetor it was a kit off of a Toyota truck, which most Toyota trucks are 2.4 liter, and this Corvair is a six cylinder, 145 cubic inches. I think that's about 2.5, maybe 2.6 liter. Anyhow, it just runs fantastic. I had to, make a cable linkage, uh, ditching the old rod that came out of there. I had to, well, redo the fuel line, redo uh, quite a few little things, but it works and it works great. And I'm gonna fire it up for you. Basically, it just fires up on the button. Let's take a look at this beautiful, beautiful red interior. Turn the key, boom. got separate dual exhaust so I don't know if you can hear the lump 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 and I'm working on that tail light there so don't be worried about that lens being off there but it's got a really nice sound it's just idle smooth purse of course I put on the uh, Pertronics electronic ignition Change the oil, adjust the mixture. I'm gonna turn it off so you can hear me on the letter. But I think she's gonna be real happy with that. It was a lot of work to get the linkage to go from basically a straight rod that runs underneath the car, then to a little pivot point, and then to a cable and get that all adjusted so that it has full throttle. Um, should be pretty zippy. It has amazing throttle response now and amazing torque um, So I'm really really happy with that. I know there are other carburetor options out there. In fact This car came. Here's the old air filter assembly. You can see how that connected both and here are the carburetors which The prior owner said we're ready to go and they are missing parts and they're seized and they're just nasty Nasty they are remanufactured but we weren't going to use them. I just didn't want to deal with having her synchronize them and it just turned me off the whole thing. And I just can't rebuild those. So I know that this carburetor uh, kit is not the most, mm, shall we say, uh, per for the perfectionist, I guess, or the purest. But uh, as far as practicality and economy, I think it's just going to be fantastic. Um, again, it's electric choke, it's 200 CFM. 
Sorry about that, the video cut off. It's gonna work great. So there I leave you with the video of the day. Thanks for watching uh, this beautiful Corvair come back to life.